So if you want to make this story about homosexuality, you're going to have to read into the story material that the Bible does not include. But the crowd persists, grows impatient. They are bent on violence. They are not about to care for the resident alien, the orphan, the widow, or the poor. The crowd is whipped up into a frenzy of suspicion and hostility. They are more lynch mob than sex predators. They are out to do violence, and possibly even sexual violence, but not homosexual violence. Lot seeks to placate them in this weird twist of the story by offering them his daughters. Now, in spite of everything else, you know, you have to ask the question, if this mob is comprised of gay men, why would you offer them your virgin daughters? <clears throat> Obviously, you wouldn't. It wouldn't make any sense. But Lot's chief concern is not with his daughters, but with the guests who are in his home and with their safety. Lot's responsibility as the host is to protect his guests from the impending violence that is about to erupt, even at the risk of putting his own family members in danger. This is the nature of the hospitality that was practiced in Lot's day, and to which Lot remained faithful while the citizens of Sodom practiced hostility and inhospitality. Then the crowd is struck blind by these strange visitors, and the next morning they usher Lot and his wife and daughters out of Sodom before the city and its sister city of Gomorrah are destroyed. It is a terrifying and horrible story. It is a story that causes chills to run up and down our spines whenever we hear it. It is a story of violence, both human and divine, and it comes as a warning. But one thing is certain. It is not, not a story that allows the reader to issue a blanket condemnation of all homosexuals. Biblical record simply does not support that conclusion. So we need to look for the true sin of Sodom. Back when I was an evangelical, I got better. And first studying the Bible in college, one of my professors taught the principle that the Bible interprets the Bible. And I've always found that to be a good starting place. That means whenever you're trying to figure out what the Bible is saying about something, look at what else the Bible has to say about it. Let's put that good advice to work. The New Revised Standard Version of the Bible contains 48 references to Sodom and 23 to Gomorrah. You're right, you should have packed the lunch. No, we're not going to cite all 71 references, though if you want to sometime, you can. But let's take a look at a few representative citations. In Deuteronomy 32, 32 to 38, we read in part, Their vine comes from the vine stock of Sodom, from the vineyards of Gomorrah. Then he will say, Where are their gods, the rock in which they took refuge, who ate the fatness of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their libations? Let them rise up and help you. Let them be your protection. The condemnation is not homosexuality. The condemnation 